Hello, today we're in Dublin Bay Prom Festival and we're talking to one of the organizers, Dave Manan. Hi there, how are you? Welcome to uh, host. Welcome to host. So, uh, we want to ask you a few questions. So, how many years this festival is, is, is going on? Uh, t uh, this is the fourth year. Um, we started in 2010 and now in 2014 we're in our fourth year. Um, it just it seems to get bigger and bigger each year. When we started out first, we were on the exact same green where we had um, 14 restaurants and they were all in little small gazebos. Um, obviously having a festival in April, we felt that we would um, we would need to uh, get some more cover. Like so now what we have, as you can see, is the, the two marquees. So some years we've been lucky with the weather, some years we've been unlucky and we're hoping Tomorrow will be a nice day. Hi guys, what do you think about today's festival? Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, the, the weather hasn't been great, but uh, it's a bit cold out. But uh, lots of people showed up, and um, yeah, and very lovely food and uh, great uh, activities for the kids. Hello, everybody. So, what do you think about today's Prawn Festival? It's been great fun. Uh, the weather was good, more or less. Um, uh, it's a good excuse to come out to Hope. Hope is a lovely town, and it's a great. Uh, it's great to see so many people here, but also uh, uh, such a nice mix of uh, Irish people and people from other countries as well. Well, I think it's uh, wonderful. You know, once a year at least we can enjoy, you know, this kind of festival here in Hull. Hopefully the, the weather is getting better. Um, and yeah. You know, yeah, great think? environment and the food is also very good. So yeah, very good. Yeah, and with the sound, the music, it's great. It's good environment. Yeah. What do you cook today? We're doing a Dublin Bay brown curry. Uh, flavoured rice and uh, the curry is in mixed vegetables, peppers, onions and lots of Dublin Bay prawns. Quite nice. What do you have for today? The gambas and stir fry and uh, rice noodles from Doran's on the pier. And how much is that? It's one prawn punt which is uh, five euros. I see it says here uh, follow your instinct. Is it all about instincts? Uh, it's all about the tourists today. <laughs> uh, Bloody Mary, Old Bay Bloody Mary. So it's uh, probably tomatoes with the prawns? Uh, vodka, tomato juice, lemon juice and a garnish of a prawn on top. Is it the traps for the prawns? Yes, they are the traps for the prawns, yes. Really? Yes. I, I was just guessing, so how do you catch them? You drag them behind the boat on the Hoth Harbour. Okay, so where is the boat? Just waiting over there. Yeah, it's waiting outside for you. So what I was saying earlier on was presentation side down. So I put this piece of fish skin side, we turned it once, and then you lift it straight onto the plate. Okay? Pat Murphy will tell us about Asgard sailing and I want to hear his history. The Asgard sailing yacht was a 51 foot boat and it was owned by Erskine and Molly Childers. It was launched in 1905 and they sailed it all around the Baltic and the North Sea. And then in 1914, this, this in fact, can you show that this is the Asgard in 1910. And if we move along, it's a very famous boat in Irish history. Because in 1914, the yacht rendezvoused with a tug off the Belgian coast, a German tug called the Gladiator. And they took on board 900 guns and ammunition for the Irish volunteers in Ireland. And they sailed back to Hoth. And they landed the guns and ammunition here in Hoth, down at the end of the East Pier, on the 26th of July, 1914. So this year is the 100th anniversary and we're going to have a very big day to celebrate this particular occasion on Sunday the 27th of July. Which wine are you serving today? We have Pinot Grigio from Italy, we have a Sauvignon Blanc, Blanc from Chile and we have a Merlot and we also have some Prosecco. So anything left for us? Now, oh, there is a few bottles, all right, but the bar is closing at 6 o'clock. So we come back tomorrow? Yes, I think so. <laughs>
we don't only do fish. The special ops, you know, big and fish. Not only fish. We do coffee, we do cake, we do tapas, we do the whole lot, man. And that's what this is about. We came out here to not do fish, you know. Well, I, I really like the fact that you can choose what what you want to eat, and you see it being prepared in front of you. So I think it's great. It's it's a big difference with eating a restaurant. So what do you have for today? So today we have a uh, rice with vegetable. We have uh, prawn on the grill, uh, chips, fish, and uh, Japanese sauce. So we give all together in same plate. We make mixed plate. What do we have for today? Uh, today we have homemade fish cakes and seafood chowder as well, the best in house that you'll get. Uh, the fish cakes are made out of uh, salmon, smoked cod, fresh cod, as well as a mix of uh, mashed potato and a selection of herbs. Uh, they're deep fried in, and they have a light coat of breadcrumbs on the outside as well and they're really delicious. Because my parents come here every year and they think it's great so we said we'd come along this year when the kids are a bit older and see what it's about and they had the fun festival as well as the train so it was great. So did you try any food like what is your favourite one? Yeah well I, I got um, some of calamari in the last tent. Um, kids aren't big into fish now or prawns unfortunately so uh, they're not partaking in the, they got in the, we the them. food. Uh, today we have gorgeous mussels and they're done in a white wine and garlic sauce with lots of herbs. Very, very nice. So guys, and what do you have for today? Uh, well, we're making a swordfish tuna and prawn um, skewer with rice. And then here we have uh, prawns and and gamut prawns and um, savory rice. And we have a sauce which is Chinese um, Saki sauce. sauce, Chinese saki sauce. Except the beer, what did you try today? Uh, I had prawn quesadilla with tomato sauce, that was quite lovely actually. So that the prawns were quite small, but it was still very tasty. Uh, just a prawn taco, but it was really nice, yeah. So guys, so what do you think about tomorrow? We have one more day tomorrow and we're expecting better weather. Are you coming back tomorrow? Well, we've had a lot of fun today, so yeah, if, if the weather improves, you never know. We might come back for another uh, look around. Thank you very much, so see you next time then. Thank you. What tends to happen on a Sunday is a, is a lot more people come out. Certainly the weather will be much better tomorrow. Um, but uh, we will have, we'll have different shows on, different demonstrations on in, in this uh, marquee. And all the restaurants that are in the other, uh, in the other marquee will be all producing similar uh, dishes as they are today. Obviously they'll, they'll, they'll work tonight, replenish, clean up and get ready for a brand new day tomorrow. What kind of prawns? These are Dublin Bay prawns, the real thing. Fresh, freshly caught just this morning. Um, they look very fresh and tasty. They really are, yeah. Just have some garlic and chili and lime on them and let them cook in their own juices. Like a live painting? Absolutely, yeah. I think they're beautiful, yeah.